annual IBMA Awards show is always a blast. The International Bluegrass Music Association honors the best in the genre every year at the legendary Ryman Auditorium. Kelly Lynn had a chance to catch up with the honorees to talk about the big night. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Here with Sam Bush and Guy Clark who are nominated tonight for Song of the Year. And this was a very special song based on a true story. Talk a little bit about this. Well, it is based on the, uh, the way String Bean and his wife Estelle uh, met their demise. And Guy and Verlin Clark already had this song going, and then they called me in to kind of give them a little bluegrass edge to it. And I'm just thrilled. Auth authenticity. Yeah, and, uh, but my father knew String a little bit, and, and I used to see him play a lot as a boy. So uh, when Guy Clark calls, you come a-running, because in the great American rungs of songwriting, wherever the top rung of the ladder is, Guy Clark's right up there. He's there, and you are very honored to have this gentleman perform oh, this song. Don't you? It's just a thrill for me to have Sam Bush do anything. We are here with the Graskels tonight, front row, and you are up for five IBMA awards. Congratulations. They're up for some too, but I appreciate it. I'm all of these guys, a beautiful lady. Now you have actually taken home the prize two years in a row here for Banjo Player of the Year. That's right. Hopefully tonight we'll make three. That no count. Count. That's right. Her we prize will... is riding with these five guys. <laughs> Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver up tonight for two awards. Are you nervous? No, not really. You, didn't, you know, you never know how they're going to go. It's always a thrill if you happen to be the one to walk away with it. But no, not really. It's, but it's exciting. Just all the stuff happening is exciting. You know? It's so nice to be nominated yeah, and to be absolutely. here. Absolutely. Yeah, if you get nominated, you, you place in the top five, you, you might not take home the big trophy, but you're not a loser either. You know? Just to be nominated with so many great musicians and artists, it's always a little intimidating. But with that, going into this tonight, you guys have a single that is just doing extremely well. I think it's charted around number one somewhere. Yeah, we have a, a song that we wrote called Farm of Yesterday. We grew up on a dairy farm in upstate New York, and it really caught on on, on the bluegrass radio. I worked for Bill Monroe back. Uh, he was still he was still in his prime when I worked for him. You know, and it was 1963. But they started it on the Ryman stage in the middle 40s. Actually, is when it was actually born. You know, the music, and and they happened to be Bill was on a major recording label, so we got we still have his music now, and we hear what was first invented, you know, the first thing. Yeah. And we're fortunate. I'm just so thrilled to be here amongst artists that I love so, so much. So I'm, it's a celebration and I'm just having a wonderful time celebrating bluegrass, which is a national treasure. I tell you what, these guys breathe life back into, uh, back into my career for sure uh, in the last few years. And I'm just honored to be here with them tonight, you know, but uh, these guys have done a lot for uh, Jimmy Fortune for sure. All right. Yeah. Well, Jimmy, we're glad that you're here with them tonight. Now, let's talk about your nominations because you're up for 10 tonight. Are you nervous? We're very anxious. <laughs> so we, we, uh, we just feel so blessed and thankful to be nominated. Uh, if we don't win a thing, and we might not, we might, I don't know, we're just thankful to be nominated. There's a lot of people that didn't get nominated that deserve to be nominated and also deserve to win. And uh, we just feel so blessed to be in the category um, of, of being nominated. So. And all the categories, I think. I mean, I don't know that you missed out on too many. Well, the only one we missed out on, Jamie missed out on female vocalist, but that was it. <laughs> now, I understand that some of you in the band, I'm not sure who, have nominations for the Grammys and... Uh... We have a Grammy winner. Well, I, I won a Grammy playing the banjo with Ricky Skaggs one time, so I had a lot of fun getting to do that. And uh, anyway, this is Tim Surratt. You didn't get to meet Tim Surratt. He's, How you doing? He is in the Southern Gospel Music Hall of Fame, right. and he's still alive. Right. You know, I've been attending the awards show and actually IBMA since I was about nine years old. So uh, and now being 30 years old now, uh, you know, it's it's always been a really cool experience for me. It's something that I always look forward to every year. It started off as something my dad and I would do together. And then, uh, you know, it just be became a way of life for me. And it's always cool to get the opportunity to come back here and be around these people. You know, these are all people that I've always looked up to in my life, you know, and now I feel like I've considered a part of that organization, you know, with, with these people. And it's just it's an amazing thing for me. Me. A lot of us met here at IBMA. Uh, we used to come here to jam because we liked, you know, staying up late, playing music, and 
uh, but we're from all over. Uh, the three of us are actually all from New York, so uh, not exactly the hotbed of bluegrass, but uh, we, we learned to play anyway. Go figure. So New York, like in the city? Or? Hey, yay. Hey. Are you going to perform tonight? Uh, yeah, I'm playing mandolin with Dirk Bentley um, during his part of the show. So How was that? Were you a big Dirk Bentley fan, or did you know Dirk before you were able to perform with him? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've always, you know, been a fan of his country stuff and uh, recently heard his bluegrass album and thought it was pretty cool and uh, had never met him till doing this tonight. So, yeah, it was really cool to get to be part of that. Well, our music has taken us places that we never thought we'd end up and what an honor to be here tonight and experience this. So we're really excited. Hey, baby, what do you say? Rob Ix, now you got the first award tonight on stage. I heard you thank your family, Dober Player of the Year. Congratulations. What a sweet speech, your wife and children. Yeah, well, you know, you can't do it by yourself. And uh, so they're, I've, I've got a great family, which I'm real lucky. And, uh, you know, they put up with me being gone and working too much. So, um, you know, it's, uh, they're, they're the best. It's a great honor. There's a lot of great uh, vocalists uh, and entertainers in this music these days. and. Uh, and to have the support of, uh, of the, fan, the fan base and the peers and everybody who gets to vote, uh, it's a wonderful feeling and I'm just really, uh, I'm just flattered. Adam Steffi just walked off the stage and the winner is... Oh, it was me for the Instrumental Recorded Performance of the Year. Uh, it's a tune that I recorded on my latest album. The title of the album is called One More for the Road and it's on Sugar Hill Records. And uh, this is a tune, it's, a, it's an old time tune that uh, not necessarily a lot of folks in bluegrass may have been familiar with, but I thought it would work. And, uh, and it did. It did. I'm tickled to death. Way down where the orange tree grows. I can't tell you what this means to me. <laughs> Thank all of you guys for voting for us because this is, this is truly a dream come true for us. Friends, Daly and Vincent won big again, taking home Vocal Group of the Year, Album of the Year, Recorded Event of the Year, Best Graphic Design for Recorded Project, and of course, their third consecutive award for Entertainer of the Year. We still have lots more up ahead, including a CD release party and a new special songwriter segment. You won't want to miss it.